Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to show you how I'm going to pot up this stone into a new planter and I'm going to be using this crassula here um, as the plant growing out the top of it. So the few, a few days ago I was on the beach and I found this really interesting unusual stone and it's going to make it a really nice pot for a kind of like a small kind of bonsai succulent kind of thing. So it's got a nice flat base on it so it'll sit well but the main feature of it is it has a lovely hole in the middle of it so I can actually plant a plant straight into it with um, you can see it's kind of see hard to see how deep it goes but it does go a long way down it goes to about about that distance down on the stone it actually gets bigger as it goes in so there's quite a bit of space in there so to plant the plant in it, I'll have to first of all fill out with compost so what I've decided to use is actually bonsai compost and the reason for that is bonsai compost is very fine there's not many large bits in it so it should fill in all the crevices nicely. So to do that I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top and then I'm simply pushing it in with a um, with a bamboo cane here until it completely fills all the most of the crevices. I'm not going to fill it up completely until I get the plant ready but just put a bit in the bottom anyway for now. So there we are. That's a little bit filled. I say it's quite difficult to get in with with it, so I'm going to also use a slightly thinner label just get every little crook and cranny filled because I want to make sure that um, there's as much space for the roots to grow in and as much compost as possible so that it does actually have enough space for the nutrients and the water so what I'm using is this here which is a, a crassula I'll put out the species, I can't remember it off the top of my head um, and it's going to look quite nice, I've seen some of these used as bonsai before so it should work well and this was actually a cutting, so I know uh, I've grown it myself, you can probably see some of the roots coming out there. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut off just the bottom of the roots so that, they'll, that the root ball is smaller and it'll fit nicely into here. And I'm just going to poke it in with the stick basically. So um, actually I might poke it in with the label because it's a little bit thinner, a bit easier. I'll uh, see if I can get it all in. If I can't get it all in, then um, I'll just cut some more of the root off. And I know even if I do cut all the roots off, because this is very easy to take from cutting, it shouldn't be too hard to get it to re-root again. So I'm not worried about root damage or taking too many roots off. So I'll just push that in. See if it will go in. And I would like it, kind of like it with the roots exposed slightly, because I'd quite like to show off some of the um, the stem as well. I think the stem looks quite nice and, and some of the exposed roots just in the main stem a bit. So that seems to be secure. But I'll put in a little bit more compost and try and get it all filled in nicely. So I did leave a bit of space to add in the compost and a few more space for the roots. There we are, there's still quite a lot of space there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the top roots here so I can't get in, and that'll just leave the lower roots inside. That'll also give me a bit more space so I can get some more compost in. So it's the first time I've tried this. Now as it's a, it's a sealed container, there's no, there's no holes in the bottom. Um, I've put water in here before and the water doesn't drain out of the stone, it's completely waterproof. So I will have to be a little bit careful with watering, especially as this is a succulent and succulents like it free draining and they don't like too much I don't like to sit in water, so I will have to be quite careful, careful with that. But um, I'll just be careful with the watering. And I, I wanted to get something that was a succulent as well because, with it being such a small root space that this plant has, it doesn't have a lot of water available. So, if it wasn't a succulent, if it had a very hot, sunny day, it could very easily run out of water and, and be killed by the lack of water. So, at least being a succulent, if I, if, if I don't water it for a day or if we have a very hot, sunny day, and it does run out of water in its roots, it won't die because it's, it can handle a bit of stress, of drought, drought stress. So that feels like it's mostly filled. I don't want to ram it in tight because if I cram the roots in too tight, there won't be any airflow for the plant. But I think that's about right, so I'll just take off any of this excess. And I'll water this in as well, just to make sure it all goes in well. There we are. You can see it growing out the rock there. I'll just push it down a tiny bit more so that there's less compost and it looks more like it's coming out of the pure rock. 
and, this, and it'll make this hole look smaller if we get rid of that compost as well. There we are. So that's it. I might have to stake this because it's a little bit loose. The roots aren't established yet. But I'm quite happy with how it looks at the moment. And I'll give you guys an update on how it does. But there you are, you can see it's going to be a nice, nice little stone coming out of um, a nice, nice little bonze kind of land coming out of the stone. So I think it'll be quite a novel thing, quite interesting. And I'll, as I said, I'll give you an update as it grows and I might, might even prune it a little bit to make it a bit more like a, like a small tree shape. 